What's up everybody, Cursing Mushroom here, and today I want to talk a little bit about something I've seen on Twitter today and on Forbes. I think it's kind of interesting. I've heard it rear its ugly head here and there time and time again, and I want to ask you guys, how do you feel about it? I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. So let's get a little bit into it. So on Twitter, i seen a post today and it says, this is such a more complicated problem than it looks like. We talked about it abundantly at Bungie. What do you guys think? Should your character and destiny speak or not? And then here's the article from Forbes um, by Paul. So, what do you guys think? Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and read this article here. Okay, and and see what you guys you know what your perspective is on the whole situation. Okay, so since some gameplay and loot fixes are heading to Destiny Two soon enough, it's time for everyone to complain. Let me make my screen a little larger. To complain about something that isn't being fixed anytime soon. Destiny's story. The old, much-discussed problems are back. Not enough lore in the game. Not enough lore out of the game. Bad storytelling in the game are now internally mute protagonist. It's old ground, but that doesn't make the points any less valid. I've been thinking about why Destiny's story doesn't really work for years now, and I think I've narrowed it down to one particular issue. We're not Commander Shepard. Now that we literally not lead the character in its original Mass Effect trilogy, but that we're not a Commander Shepard type, which is what the story falls so flat. Yes, being a mute protagonist certainly doesn't help when we had barely any lines. It wasn't great, but now being completely silent and having Ghost, the most irritating character in the game, speak for us every turn that completely draws any semblance of us feeling like an actual hero instead of void but instead of a void blank space. But that's not the only issue. The problem is that we are essentially everyone and no one. Whereas of all his favorite guardians, someone without a name or any thoughts or any opinions in their own, just blindingly following orders. I know what Bungie was trying to do here in their multiplayer focused game. They needed to create a system where everyone was no one. And by having us remain silent, it's supposed to make us feel like the main character, not our avatar. But it doesn't work. The story is still structured around us being the central hero. When we talk about killing Atheon or Oryx or pushing back the Red Legion, everyone still refers to us, the singular favorite guardian, not the millions of guardians who did the exact same thing. The entire premise of Destiny 2 is that we are the one guardian who got our light back, so if we're going to be the special in the story no matter what, why not make us an actual character? Why not give us our name and voice? I'm trying to imagine a Mass Effect where... We were just a mute N7 officer and not galaxy-renowned hero Commander Shepard. And it just would have been impossible. Even if you're making a custom hero, they still need to be just that, a hero. When you think about the greatest leads and stories in games, very few involve a mute protagonist. Because forcing the player to be the main character almost always doesn't work from a storytelling perspective. But even in games, they don't let their characters speak out most of the time. You still are... You still aren't no one, excuse me. Gordon Freeman was a character, not a random nameless foot soldier, and he was able to become an icon because of it. But that will never be our guardian, with no name, no voice, no real role in the story other than acting as a guided missile for the vanguard. There will never be truly a great Destiny story. Even with Destiny's focus on multiplayer, this could have worked. Mass Effect and Dragon Age have shown us you can switch gender, race, and still be named. Voice hero that is in the center of a memorable story. In this case, all Bungie would have done to... Oh my gosh, guys, I'm a... (laughs) In this case, all Bungie would have to do is allow you to be the hero, guardian, one with a generic last name or call sign, Hawk, Shepard... Where you pick either a first name or an odd number at the end of your name, Hawk A7. Record lines for different races and genders. Seriously, that isn't that much dialogue in the game where it shouldn't be an issue. And your only way to making players feel like they're controlling the actual character in the story. The thing is, Destiny is already most of the way there. You already... You are already the hero guardian, the one doing all the super special things by yourself. All the game would have to do is pretend that the player is the lead at all times and that any other guardians they're playing were the support staff, like your Mass Effect crew. 
You're the special one, and everyone else in the tower you see are just other guardians that aren't legendary heroes, but instead helpful allies and soldiers. Granted, everyone would see everyone else that way, but it would be just a useful storytelling trick. This would allow you to be an actual character in the story instead of a mute assemblage of armor nodding in an ascent of your ghost speaks on your behalf. I cannot think of the game that has produced a great story that had a mute protagonist that was also some nameless generic shoulder. It doesn't work. As I'm also finding with the Monster Hunter world, which has almost this exact same problem. You can have silent protagonists and memorable stories, Half-Life, Bioshock, or you can have actual voice characters for even better results, The Last of Us Mass Effect. You could not have a mute hero who is also a generic nobody while also being heralded as the world-saving god among men. None of those things work in tandem. I don't know if it's too late for Destiny to fix this, but Bungie seems to be digging the hole deeper, stripping away even... The few lines your character used to have, and it's probably too late to re- retcon the story now. But, while we don't need the decision trees and romance options in Destiny, we do need an actual hero. And right now, the Guardian is not. <gasps> so, let's talk a little bit about this, okay? So, me personally, in which I'm going to leave the link to this in the description down below. That way you guys can look at it yourself if you're curious about it. Um... I actually don't mind that there's not a voice. I feel like if they were going to take away, because it's all about resources at a company. If they're going to have to utilize their resources to making a voice and all these lines and it's going to reduce something somewhere else, I do not want that. Because to me, Destiny is not about the the campaign like story. Like the cinematics are great. You know, we need to feel attached to some degree. But it's all about the killing the enemies, obtaining loot, um, going on these great missions with your friends. That's what it's like to me. I mean, I don't mind there being story, but if it's going to cost the game somewhere else to give the character a voice, which you only experience that like one time and then after that it's forgotten because you're busy playing raids and strikes and nightfalls and stuff, then I don't think it's valuable. Now, if they would incorporate it across the board, like let's say you complete a nightfall and you're like, yes, or something, you know, then it would be a little bit more cool. You would hear it more often. It would be incorporated across the game. Or if you could say something like when you're in the tower, you know, like, what's up, guardians, you know, or something, you know, raise your hand up in the air. That would be pretty cool as well. But to me, I don't think that's the biggest thing that Destiny needs right now. I think us talking about their voice lines is not very important. Now, if it doesn't take away from the resources of the company, I don't see why they haven't done it already. Uh, Just because some people want it, obviously, like Paul here. He would like to have it. So think about these things, Guardians. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would you like to hear your Guardians say something? I know from Destiny 1, um, as a Destiny 1 player, it wasn't really that important. The lines were few and far in between. It wasn't really, you know, the greatest thing ever. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. And we'll just kind of chit-chat on it. Um, As long as it, like I said, as long as it doesn't take away from, you know, our actual character you know, and everything else, you know, in terms of building the game, then absolutely add it to the game. But I don't think it should be um, something that's just absolutely, you know, a necessity. So anyways, Guardians, you can always check me out on Twitter, Cursing Mushroom as usual. It's the same, same, same. Guys, it's been wonderful. It's been great. I'm starting to feel a little better. I've got all my Stuff all hooked up now. We're doing great. So tomorrow is going to be Iron Banana. We're going to kick it off hard and heavy. Um, And I got some work I'm doing on some uh, Monster Hunter right now. I think my modem's not good enough to live stream because I was trying to live stream some gameplay, but it just wasn't working. I have everything else is great, but I think my modem is requiring something it doesn't have. So I may have to get a new modem here in the near future so I can start live streaming more for you guys. So keep an eye out for that. With all that being said, guys, I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, day or night, wherever you may be, as usual, Cursing Mushroom out. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget, you can subscribe to my channel in the comments or the description down below. Also, hit the little red bar and the bell to be notified.